Hey you guys, it's Brittany from Life After Lockup and I'm back this week to answer fan questions. You guys asked, so I'm here to answer. How do you just let go of something that's not physically in your hands? How do you let go of mental and emotional trauma? In order for me to let it go, what I did was just to accept it. I acknowledged every little thing that I had been through in life um, whether it was wrongdoing uh, from someone else, whether it was my own bad actions or decisions that caused me to go through any kind of traumatic event that was in my life. And I accepted it. I said, this happened in my life. I'm not running from it anymore. I accept it. It happened and I'm going to move on from it. Yes, I have thought about doing that. Um, I even went to college to, and I was mastering in psychology um, because I wanted to be a counselor or a doctor, but when I found out that I could only go so far um, with that uh, degree, because I'm a felon, I kind of like rerouted. I wasn't really discouraged, I decided to re rethink things and um, mind map elsewhere. And I'm really, you know, grateful to have good people in my life today. Um, and so now I'm the vice president of a nonprofit organization that is geared toward helping ex-offenders get acclimated back into society. And so that's what I'm focused on right now is getting a transitional living facility up and running. So then that way um, we can implement our nonprofit after Orange, their program into the, the houses and the facilities and I can work hands-on, one-on-one uh, -on -one with the girls um, that are gonna be in the facility, the women coming out um, of Smiley Road here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Thank you so much for that um, because since day one of me being on the show, I have been transparent. Um, I have never been worried or concerned about what other people think um, because I'm always just gonna be me and that's all I have to offer. When you are broke down to absolutely nothing and you are all you have, um, you don't have outside vices to look for strength anymore. You are forced into a situation where the only thing you can do is look on the inside. And when I began to look on the inside, I realized that I was a broken individual and that I didn't want to be that way anymore. And because I didn't have anyone around me to example a path of success to follow, I had to be that strength for myself. And um, now I'm at a point in my life to where I'm whole, I am happy, and anyone else in my life does not make me happy. They contribute to my happiness. For someone that is dating an inmate in prison is definitely um, to not have expectations. You have a long distance relationship and you're writing letters back and forth you could very easily fall in love with the idea of a relationship or the idea of someone. Because if you're in love with somebody for who you want them to be, your relationship is never going to work out. Because the second they don't meet your expectations, you're going to be disappointed, you're going to start arguing, and eventually it's going to lead to a breakup. Also, I would say is um, recognize the red flags. Not everybody in prison is genuine and has a, a good interest for you. Um, there are a lot of really good people that end up in prison and realize that they made some mistakes in life and they want a good, healthy life. They want to change. But just believe that people are who they really show you they are and protect yourself. I had full-blown plans um, to put my family in a camper and drive across the country and just meet my friends and supporters and my fans. Um, I was really excited to do that, but when COVID happened, it kind of like put a break on that. And so I'm not sure when I'm gonna do a book tour, maybe closer to when my second and third book is released. Um, so then that way, if you guys have 
one book or all the books I can sign them all or just the one for you but I am definitely planning on doing a book tour in the next year or two as far as my second book goes I'm really hopeful that it will be published and out by this summer that's my goal so be on the lookout for that thank you guys so much for watching my video this is probably one of my most favorite videos that I've shot for you guys just because I love engaging with you I love letting you guys know that like um, the fact that you believe in me and the fact that I'm your favorite uh, just lets me know and reassures me that I'm on the right path and I, I am doing the right thing and that I could keep pushing forward and, and um, just be that example. And so for those of you that have reached out and um, expressed to me that I inspire you, uh, that is near and dear to my heart and I just want to let all of you guys know that and that I appreciate that so much. And if you guys have any more questions for me, go ahead and feel free to DM me um, or follow me on my Instagram at Brittany.LoveAfterLockup. And don't forget to tune in to an all new Life After Lockup Friday nights at 9, 8 central. And then head over here each week to check out exclusive videos from me. I love you guys so much. Bye.